welcome to my channel. Uh, so today I am bringing you a layout share and this is to show you what I have completed with my April Like Forever kit. So my first layout I did was uh, a project life spread. There is a process video for this one um, using some of the cut apart sheet down here uh, and also of course kit items and a few items that I added in from my stash to create this week six, so a little bit behind, but I'm getting there. Then I created this layout, was the first one I did. There is not a process video for this one as I did it at a friend's, uh, but I'm using some of the papers, some quite a few of the acrylic shapes on here, as well as some of the die cuts, and then the letter stickers I added in from my stash at the beginning. Uh, a little bit of mist sprinkled over just to bring the colours around the clusters. So it's quite a simple layout. I tend to find they worked with this kit. I did find it quite hard to use this kit, but I found the simple layouts worked. I then have this one. It's all about perception and there is a video for this one. Uh, this one was quite hard, but that was because I set myself a challenge that this layout would work either way. Either the way that my husband and son actually were in the photo compared to the way it looked. So there's a process video for that. And then there's this grid layout. I think this is probably my favorite. Um, there is a process video for this one. And I've just created just smaller than four inch square grids and then decorated those. So these are items I added in at the beginning from my stash. But we've got cheeky together, we've got some little word stickers, things like that. And I've actually got the date on that one, though I do need to date the others before they go in my album. So there's that. And then this is the last one I did. Took me quite a while with a bit of messing for this, but this is layering up with pieces that were left. And then I've got Darling Cousins, using some of the die cuts and a bit of a doily that I added in. But other than that, it's mainly the die cuts that came in the pack apart from, of course, the gold. So that's that one. And then to use up the last of the papers, I did create a bunch of three by four cards. And now these are probably gonna be used in the album I'm doing for my niece and nephew, a little six by eight album. So I've just pulled them all together and then I'll find some photos to go with them and bob them into an album. So we've got such a sweet girl, which will be for my niece. And then I've just used all the die cuts that were left and some of the stickers with some little word stickers as well that seem suitable. Another one of the acrylic shapes. Some of the die cuts. I even got the pineapple on there. Couldn't get the cactus, but I got the pineapple. And then we've got the heart die cuts and tags. This I'm thinking I'll use with a picture of my nephew who turned three. So a party without cake is just a meeting. More of the die cuts. And then I've got some simple ones mixed in there as well. Again, that's another simple one. And this is all using the bits mainly using all the big die cuts and stuff up that came in the kit because they were quite big. So we've got hashtag love you. Using one of the wooden flowers that I had in my stash. And one of the acrylic words that came out of my stash as well as some more of these acrylic shapes and some stickers that came in the kit. So that tag's there, ready for a date or journaling should I need it. And then these were one of a cut apart, I've just a die cut I've just cut round it 
to give just the word. So I've got quite a few different 3x4 cards there. I really did enjoy making these and I may well do this again at the end of a kit and this will help my niece and nephew's album come together and I still get to mess about and create but just do it in a little bit of a different way to the way I do Project Life. With it being a smaller album, um, I'm only going to be using a couple of each of these cards on the pages and I will probably mix them up in the album they don't i won't necessarily use all of these through the half of the album and then do another half but we'll see what it looks like uh, i will get some pictures printed and get some of these into an album along with the three by four cutter parts that are still left from the actual cutter part sheet themselves and get to see what I create with those. So I will do an album share on that one uh, rather than do a creative process because the process videos will be very short because I've done the cards already. So that's what I got out of my April Like Forever kit. So I've got four layouts, a project life spread and quite a few cards that will then make it into an album. So I think I did pretty well for a kit that I did struggle with for a while. Um, the 3x4 cards came together the quickest, I think, even though there's a lot of them. So thank you for joining me and I hope you join me and see what I create with May's kit.